and welcome to some good news, Team Gleason edition. I'm Blair Casey, and I'll be your host. I want to start off by thanking John Krasinski for allowing us to infringe on his intellectual property rights. His home video channel has set the bar really high, and we want to shoplift that shit. Although we are a nonprofit and have no office space with little ability to do all the things we need to do, there is in fact, there's in fact still good news. This just in, John Krasinski did not allow us to use his name, uh, his show's name, or sign. Our founding board member, Scott Fujita, told us it was okay. Scott looks like John, is not a lawyer, and was apparently joking. We're a nonprofit, so please, seriously, please don't, don't sue us. Back to some good news. As you may know, our mission at Team Gleason surrounds technology and innovation for people living with ALS. So in a sense, the ALS community was way ahead of the curve when quarantine hit. And behind the glass door interview with Steve Gleason, he said, now mere mortal enemies want to use our technology. Let them eat cake. Steve, you are funny as shit. No, you really are funny. I'm serious. For more news on technology and some other just in general good news, let's check in with our very own Daniel Vance. Daniel, everybody. People with ALS still need a lot of technology and equipment to communicate, to move, to function, to send emails, to order things online, and to watch the Tiger King, despite this pandemic. How are they gonna know if Carol Bashkin killed her husband? How are they gonna order their free Joe Exotic swag without a computer and the appropriate computer access? It's not easy to send all of this, especially since we only allow two people in our office, and it's a temporary office at that, but we're getting it done. That's some really good news. Now put on your mask, get your hand sanitizer out, and get back to work. For some more good news, let's talk to our very own Sally Cox. What you got, Sally? Blair, we have some good news from families across the country. Here's one from the Creams, who join their family members by Zoom. Oh wait, Blair, some more good news just in to report. Our Team Gleason residents have received some special deliveries keep them smiling during quarantine. And here's me with my family on TikTok. Why is everything chrome? Cash. Man, it be me feeling like the franchise boy. That's some good news, Sally. It really is. Uh, but do me a favor and don't ever TikTok again. As you can see, no matter what is happening, we're all looking for some good, good-ish, good-ish news. I'm now looking at some really good news. Some good news from my executive director, Team Leeson. Paul Verisco. That sounded really weird, Paul. He told me to say that. He told me to say it. Anyhow, Paul, give me your news. I think I just figured out how to use this computer camera. Well, that's great, Paul. Thank you for that. Uh, next time, do me a favor and don't speak right in front of the camera. Be at least four feet away. How many times do I have to tell you that? Anyhow, let's go to Emily Corman, who handles all of our speech generating devices. She's a speech language pathologist and also does voice recreation help for our ALS community. Take it away, Emily. Thanks, Blair. There is good news, and it's that we're working as much as ever, helping people better communicate. The bad news is I'm supposed to be on my honeymoon right now, but I guess that's for another show. So let me know when some bad news airs. Now back to you, Mary Blair. Well, that wasn't awkward at all. Thanks, Emily. Before we check back with Paul, and we have a caller joining us. Who is this caller? Hello, caller? Hey, Blair. You're going to steal Krasinski's show and not even ask me to host. How lame is that, my man? Whoa, 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 hold on a second here, guys. If anybody should be stealing and hosting John's show, it should be me, right? I mean, for years, people have been telling me that I'm his doppelganger, back from the days of the office. I mean, I even got all the Jim from the office faces. You know, all the usual stuff you used to do. If anybody should be doing it, it's me and Steve. For goodness sake, I teed you up for the block punt and the reopening of the Superdome. You owe me one. Come on. Oh my, Scott. Always a bride to me. Never a bride. Sorry, Emily. Okay then. This seems like a perfect time to check in with the rest of Team Gleason and get some more good news. Take it away. I'm street reporter Suzanne Alford, and I'm here to confirm that our website is full of news and it's mostly good. Kenny Malore here. Not much to talk about on the bookkeeping side of things because, well, it's kind of boring. I wouldn't mind seeing some more deposits though. Umbrella. Umbrella. 
Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Powers and I'm super psyched to work with the ALS community and help however I can. Claire here. It's hard to follow all that goodness and a baby, but my good news is all the amazing people we've met on this journey with ALS. The disease is anything but good, but the people are the best. I'm Carolyn Tucker. And I'm here to make sure shit gets done. How is that for good news? Oh, hi, I'm Yutha. I started working with Team Gleason on the same day that the stay-at-home mandate was issued. So that wasn't good. But the good news was, I started working with Team Gleason. Hi, I'm Kelly Viatar, and I'm reporting from my living room. We are allowed to continue to provide care for people living with ALS despite being at home. Now that's good news. I'm Ryan Emerson, reporting from the Pacific Northwest. These are challenging times, but we are finding good news everywhere with people helping people in the ALS community. But if you need more good news, I've always got some great stories about Steve from college. Go Kooks. Paul, it looks like you finally got your camera set. Thank you, it only took five years. Uh, why don't you close this out with some more good news? Because gosh knows we could use it. Thanks, Blair. My good news is our team and all we do. Even in this crisis, we still get positive notes from all the people that we're helping. To know that we're helping people is all the good news that I can share with you. And by the way, can I tell you a joke? Did you hear the one about the sanitizer and the man Paul, with Paul, the Paul, mask? Paul, stop. Well, that's all the good news we have for you today. Until we find another show to steal, which if you have any ideas, please send them our way. Uh, so long, farewell. Uh, I'm Blair Casey, and it was uh, this is some good news. No white flags. Thank you.